If you've ever used iOS, you may be familiar with the feature that allows you to block the access of certain apps to your cellular data. Well, today, I'm gonna to be showing you how you can do that same thing on Android. So there are plenty of reasons why you may want to limit access to your cellular data, chief among them being that you don't have a ton to spare and you just want certain apps in the background not to use it all up. So you don't get a warning like this high data usage warning. So what I'm gonna be showing you today is how you can do that on Android because it is not built in to the software unlike iOS. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to the Google Play Store. So here it is. And you can search for NetGuard No Root Firewall. So this is an app that has over a million downloads. It's very highly rated, as you can see, 4.3 stars. And I will also link it in the description, so you can just click on that link if you wanna get there as well. So what you need to do is download this app. It's very small, only a few megabytes. And then once it is downloaded, you can open it up. So now I have NetGuard open here, and as you can see, it is turned on with this little orange uh, flip switch up at the top here. So as you can see, in this application, all of your apps are just listed out here. There's also a bunch of Android policies and themes that are listed. And what this allows you to do is limit access of certain apps to your cellular data and also your Wi-Fi. So this is really great. As you can see, I've turned a lot of games on my phone to the no Wi-Fi and no data setting. So I don't get ads anymore because the app cannot connect it to the internet in any way. Now, the way this works, it's a no root firewall, as it says in the title of the app, which means it actually acts as a VPN on your phone. So if I go down here, it, you can see it says Android system connected to NetGuard VPN. It's not an actual VPN. It's just acting like one because that's the only way without rooting that it can monitor all your network traffic. Another thing to note, a little bit of a drawback here, is that some apps are using Google Play services to receive messages and notifications. And you can see it says that right here. So incoming messages are received by Google Play services and not by this app and can therefore not be blocked. So for Instagram, for example, you will still get notifications but if you have data turned off for the app, you cannot load anything in the app. So that's something to watch out for, but notifications very well optimized by now. They don't take up much data at all, so it shouldn't be something to worry too much about. So now I'm gonna be showing you an example. Uh, one of the games I have on my phone is Crash Delivery. I know, it's super dumb. But I'm gonna show you an example here of how I don't get any ads when I'm playing games or using any other app if I block both the cellular and data Wi-Fi signals. So here we are in uh, Crash Delivery. This is just some random game. I was playing it a little bit up at the cottage when I had no internet. So as you can see right now, there's a little white banner across the bottom of the screen. Y you know what would normally be there? A banner ad, but it's not. Similarly, there's a free upgrade offered at every you know, break where you can click on the upgrade and watch an ad instead of spending the in-game currency. But if I click, you can see I'm clicking right now, nothing is happening because it can't load an ad because it cannot connect to the Wi-Fi or my cellular data. And this is really, really great because Man, oh man, I love playing games so much more now that there's not ads just everywhere. So as I previously mentioned, NetGuard is actually working as a VPN on your phone. So if you have another VPN that you'd like to stay connected to, you're kind of SOL for that one. Uh, I do have Dashlane on my phone, as you can see right here. Um, I only use it on unsecured public networks. That is something to keep in mind if you are going to be using NetGuard because it will take up that VPN connection on your phone. Another thing to keep in mind is that this is the no root option. If you want to get really down into the nitty gritty and not use a VPN to do this, then you will need to root your phone. That is not something I'm going to be doing, but it is definitely an option if you are into that scene. This is just the easy, no fuss, let's get it done way of doing this, and I think it works really well. Well, thank you very much for watching this tutorial on how to use NetGuard No Root Firewall. It's a very simple app, but I thought I would share it here 
on this YouTube channel in case anyone is interested. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter for more videos and updates.